You may have gotten advice from an instructor or a librarian at some point that it's a good idea to peruse the references sections of articles you've found to see if you can find more on your topic. In this video, we'll discuss the mechanics of actually checking to see if the Auraria library has an article you've identified. We'll also talk about how you can go the other direction. The articles in the references section of an article are all necessarily older than the article you're looking at. We'll discuss how you can use Google Scholar and other tools to find newer articles that cited that article. So let's start with an article. Browsing through the References section, you identify another article that seems worth checking out. Here's the order of operations for getting the full text. First, try Start My Research. Search the title of the article in Start My Research, the main search box at library.auraria.edu. Just copy and paste from the references page. If the article doesn't show up at the top right away, try adding quotes around the title in the search box. In this example, the article did show up as the first result. But if the article I wanted wasn't there, we still have options. The second place to check is the journal list. Start My Research can find almost anything we have, but there are exceptions. So if you don't find the article there, go to the journal list, which is below Start My Research on the main library webpage. Search for the title of the journal the article you're looking for was published in. Navigate by year, volume, and issue to locate the article. If the library doesn't have the journal listed, try searching in Google Scholar, scholar.google.com. Sometimes articles end up online for free. This is a good step to include when you're looking for an article because it might save you a couple days or at least a few hours. Just paste the title into the search box and look for a PDF link that works over on the right-hand side. If you're still not finding the full text, there's still Interlibrary Loan. Through Interlibrary Loan, the Auraria Library can borrow an article or book or other item on your behalf from another library. It's free to you and pretty fast, usually one business day or less. Navigate to the Interlibrary Loan page by selecting Quick Menu on the library webpage, library.auraria.edu, and then selecting Interlibrary Loan under Library Services. You'll find instructions for making a request on the Interlibrary Loan page. If you run into problems at any point, there are librarians ready to help 24-7. Just select Ask Us on the library webpage. In addition to looking through an article's references section, another good way to find related literature is to see if an article has been cited since its publication. The easiest way to do this is to copy and paste the article's title into Google Scholar. This probably sounds familiar, but one more thing. If you access Google Scholar through the Auraria library, just search Google Scholar in Start My Research, and then select the Google Scholar link at the top, you'll get full text at Auraria Library links for easier access to some of the results. To see if and how many times an article has been cited, look at the bottom of the article's search result for a cited by link with a number. The number is the number of times the article has been cited since it was published according to Google Scholar. Click the link and you'll see a list of citing articles. For highly cited articles, note the option to search within citing articles. Another way to see citing articles is to look for the Web of Science links in Start My Research. Web of Science is a citation indexing database, meaning one of its main emphases is to show connections between articles. Web of Science links are in the lower right next to many articles in the search results, with a number corresponding to the number of citations for the article in Web of Science. If there is no Web of Science link, it could be that the journal in which the article was published isn't in Web of Science, in which case Google Scholar will be your best option. Again, don't hesitate to ask us for help. Click Ask Us on the library webpage anytime. Thanks for watching.